Welcome to Human Resources for the People. It's a human capital revolution. If you like what you heard today, please like, share, and subscribe for more content about people-centered HR. Good afternoon, all you out there. Um, today, we're going to talk about Rhode Island's new tip protection law that went in, uh, that was signed on June 28th. Um, this article comes from Littler. Littler is a massive uh, employment law firm uh, that spans most of the country, and uh, they have a great reputation in this field. Uh, so they signed into effect a, a new tip protection law. It creates requirements for tip pools, prohibits uh, employ employers from retaining employees' tips, as well as setting up requirements for deductions from tips for credit card processing. So what's the current state? You know, in Rhode Island, as well as many other um, states throughout the union, Rhode Island allows employers to take a tip credit against the general minimum wage. For Rhode Island, and, and most people don't know this, but uh, the minimum wage is defined on a, a basis for each on a state by state basis. There is a federal minimum wage, and there are a few states that uh, reflect into the federal, uh, so they have no laws with respect to minimum wage at all. And so, anyway, it's a state by state basis. Rhode Island's minimum wage is twelve twenty five, and you can the employers can take tip credit against that minimum wage. What that means is that they have to. Uh, they have to make at least twelve twenty five per hour um, it, including tips so you can pay an employee on average three eighty nine an hour but they again the, the the tips have to make up the difference. Employers are required to make sure and and provide substantial evidence that the tips uh, each employee receive bring their earnings at, at minimum wage. So they have to meet it and they have to prove that they have to meet it. Uh, there's a way to do that. Uh, the best way, you know, is to have the employees list their tips re uh, received for the week. In addition, the tip pooling is very standardized and regula regulated and defines who can take credit and who participates and who um, you know, is involved with the tip pooling, which is really important because a lot of times I think employers enter into the tip pool, you know, owners and things of that nature. And that's, you know, absolutely unacceptable. The biggest part is that no exempt employees will be included in the tip pool. For example, tip uh, exempt employees are those salaried employees like management and things like that, that aren't eligible to be in the tip pool as a result of this statute. I think that's pretty important. You know, exempt employees, uh, I think in, in restaurants can be involved and I, I think it's just dirty business and really not good business on the part of the owner. So I think that's really important to understand um, and, and to know your rights in this case. So the new statute is pretty cut and dry. Um, the statute makes it clear that tips are the sole property of the tipped employer. They can't take it. Uh, you know, there is some deductions for credit card processing, but they ultimately cannot take uh, the tips from you. And, and this has always been the case, but it hasn't been explicit in many states, um, not to the point that rises to this statute at least. In addition, it outlines that it has to be done regularly um, and you can't wait for the credit card company to pay you. In addition, the tip pool is standardized. Finally, Littler makes sure that you know that employers uh, have to make changes in Rhode Island with respect to tipped employees and they should review their uh, policies and practices to ensure that they're not retaining and that they comply with the requirements of the statute. I think this is a really important law. You know, every time that the employer is stealing salary from the employees, they have to be held accountable. And that wage theft is a really big problem in today's business. And this is a, a solid step in the right direction. 
uh, with making sure that employees uh, that are tipped are actually receiving those tips. And that's critical and, and good on Rhode Island for passing this. It took effect immediately upon signing on June 28th. Uh, so it's in effect now. If you're having issues with this, you know, make sure you reach out to the local Department of Labor in Rhode Island. Uh, you know, th this is really critical to fix early, document everything that happens, and move on from there. Uh, you know, that's all for today. Thank you very much for listening and, and watching with me, and I hope you have a great day. Uh, if you like what you heard today, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next time.